In this video, we want to talk about how to read an Excel file with multiple sheets in Python programming language using the pandas package. So please stay tuned. So now suppose that I have an Excel file, which you can see here, which there is a link for this data in the description below. So if I open this Excel file, you can see here is the file, which this Excel file has two sheets. The first sheet is called iris, which is a dataset, which is called iris dataset. And there is another sheet, which is called MPG, it stands for miles per gallon, which is another famous dataset, which is called miles per gallon, MPG. So as you can see, my Excel file has two sheets. First, iris, and the second sheet is miles per gallon, MPG. Now I need the path of this file, so I right click on it, and then go to properties, and then the security tab, and I should copy this path. So I copied that, and I should go to PyCharm, which is my favorite IDE for Python programming, and I want to read that Excel file. Before going further, remember that you should install a package called XL, RD, which is a package used in pandas. So first of all, you should install that first and then you are going to read that Excel file. So I open a terminal and I simply type pip install XLRD. So I press enter and remember that you should have internet connection and you can see the package will be installed. So after installing the package, then you simply type import pandas as pd because I want to use the pandas package in order to read Excel file in Python programming language. Then I simply type pd, which is the alias name of this pandas package. Then I simply use the read Excel function in order to read the Excel file. And I should pass the path of my file, which I have copied. So here is the path of my file. And then I store the results in a variable, let's say called df. And now if I print the df variable, and if I run a code, you can see here is the data set, which you can see it is the iris data set, which is the first sheet. So when you use this read Excel function and you don't specify which sheet you want to read, by default, it is going to read the first sheet, which in this example is our iris sheet, our iris data. But now let's specify which sheet you want to read. So there is another argument which is called sheet name, which we can pass the sheet we want to read. So suppose that I want to read the iris sheet. So if I run a code, you can see here's the iris sheet, which is the iris data. And if I want to read the miles per gallon data set, I simply pass sheet name equals to miles per gallon. And if I run a code, you can see Here's the miles per gallon data set, which is the second sheet, which the name of that sheet was MPG. And also remember that it can pass multiple sheets. For example, suppose that I want to read iris sheet and also the miles per gallon sheet as well. So I want to simply pass iris and also miles per gallon sheet. So it returns multiple sheets. So let's call that DFs, which is let's say the approval format of DF. And if I print the DFs, and if I run a code, you can see it's a dictionary, and the first key is iris, and the value is our iris dataset, and the second key is, is miles per gallon, and the value is MPG dataset. So in order to better understand that, let's print the type of this DFs, and if I run a code, you can verify that the type of DFs is dictionary. And also, you can simply print DFs.keys. And if I run a code, you can see it has two keys, iris and miles per gallon, which is our sheet names. So for example, if I want the iris data set, so I can simply type from DFs, I want to index the iris data set. So if I run a code, you can see here is our iris data set. And if I want the miles per gallon, I can simply index the miles per gallon of DF's variable. So if I run a code, again, you can see here is the miles per gallon data set. And also remember that you can pass a number to sheet name, which is the index of each sheet. 
But remember that Python starts counting at zero. So for example, Python says this sheet is sheet number zero and this sheet is sheet number one. So Python starts indexing at zero. So for example, if I want to index the iris data set, then I should simply pass sheet name equals to zero. So if I run a code, you can see here's the iris data set. And if I want the miles per gallon data set, I should pass one. So if I run a code again, you can see here is the miles per gallon data set. And if I want to read multiple sheets, then I can simply use their index to do so. So for example, I want sheet zero and sheet one. And then let's store the results in a variable. Let's say called DFs. And if I print the DFs, you can see it's a dictionary which the first key is zero, the zeroth sheet, and the corresponding value is the iris sheet. And this is index one, which the corresponding value is the miles per gallon data set. So you can index that. For example, I want to use the zeroth sheet, which is the iris sheet. So if I run a code, you can see here is the iris sheet. And if I pass one, you can see here is the miles per gallon data set. And let's talk about a note. So if you pass the, if you pass none to the sheet name, then it is going to read all the sheets available in that Excel file. So in this example, in this file, we have two sheets. So if you pass none to sheet name, it is going to read all the sheets available in that Excel file. And then I'm storing that in a variable, let's say called DFs. So if I print the DFs variable and if I run a code, you can see it's a dictionary and these are the keys. The first key is iris and the corresponding value is the iris data set. And this is the second key and the corresponding value is the miles per gallon data set, which you can, which you can index uh, whatever, whatever, whatever sheet you want. So for example, if I want to index the iris data set, I should simply type iris and if I run a code, you can see here's the result. And remember that after reading the Excel file using the pandas package, then you are going to use the pandas package in order to handle that data frame, that Excel file. So let's, for example, suppose that I want to sort this data set, which is our iris data sets in a variable, let's say called DF. So for example, if I print the DF variable or DF, let's say head, and let's pass five, it means the five top rows. So if I run a code, you can see here's the five top rows of the iris data set. And for example, suppose that I want to index the columns from zero all the way up to the end, but except the last one. So I can simply, let's say, for example, I want to simply type df.iloc all the rows and from the column zero all the way up to negative one and negative one means the last column. But remember that in indexing, this one is exclusive. So it means zero all the way up to one column before the last column. So let's sort that in a variable, let's say called X, and I can simply type df.iloc all the rows in the last column, and I want to restore that in a variable, let's say called Y. So if I print X, and if I print Y, and if I run a code, you can see here is our X, and also here is our Y. So remember that after reading the Excel file, then you can handle that Excel file, that data frame, with whatever you have learned in Pandas package. Now I really suggest you to watch this video which is on the screen now.